One of the most common tools hackers use to try to crack encrypted passwords is called loft crack. The password itself can come from the network. In other words, the attacker can sniff your network traffic and pick your encrypted password off of the network. Or if they get physical access to your machine, they can actually download the encrypted password file, either from a Unix or a Windows-based machine. Once they have physical possession of that file, then they can run this Loftcraft program against it and attempt to unencrypt the passwords. I'm going to go down and select my Start button. From my Start button, I'm going to go up to Programs. And then I'm going to go to the LC4 folder. This is where I've installed Loftcrack. And then I start the executable. Now, what's nice about Loftcrack is that it actually comes in a 15-day trial version, which will let me sample the program. So I'm going to select a Trial here. Once I've selected Trial, I'm going to be walked through the Loftcrack wizard. I have several choices here. The first is I can pull the encrypted passwords from my local machine. I could retrieve the passwords from a remote machine, but I'd need administrative access. I can pull the passwords from an NT4 emergency repair disk, or I can even attempt to sniff them from the network. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to just pull them from the local machine. Now I have an auditing method. The quick password audit looks for simple passwords that you could find in a dictionary. The common password audit also looks for dictionary words, but modifications of dictionary words. For instance, replacing a zero where you would normally put an O in a word. I can also do a strong password audit, which would also do a brute force attack that would attempt to find all combinations of standard letters and numbers. Now, this is obviously in order of length. The quick password audit is the fastest, the strong password audit is the slowest, but the one that will be the most successful. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the quick password audit and say, next.